the situation in the border town of more is extremely volatile uh, during the last 48 to 60 hours there have been serial attacks on combined security forces comprising manipur police the bsf assam rifles and the army by armed gunmen who were using all kinds of weapons uh, including rocket propelled grenades mortars small arms and assault rifles uh, of course in yesterday in the last 48 hours we have seen Two Manipur police commandos have died and at least five others were wounded. Even last night, throughout most of the night, yesterday also there was heavy firing and we have heard that at least two to three uh, uh, people have been injured in this firing. Uh, now, what we are getting to know is that Manipur Chief Minister and Biren Singh uh, has uh, spoken uh, yet another time to Union Home Minister Amit Shah and this time he also spoke to Defence Minister Rajnath Singh. Uh, and following this, uh, there has been a decision taken to induct only central forces, additional central forces to the border town of Moray. So there's a helicopters are ferrying additional BSF troops uh, to the border town of Moray. That's what we are getting. There has been shorties made by helicopters carrying additional troops from the border security force. Now, what we are getting to know is that the, the, the security officials in charge of the area are saying that there is sufficient central forces to deal with the situation. Now, there was, there, was, there was talk going around since last night and this morning that following this talk with Union Home Minister Amit Shah, there was a decision, and Rajnath Singh, the Defence Minister, there was a decision to airdrop special forces in uh, Manipur. But uh, we are getting to know from top defence sources that this is not the case because special forces are there in any case in states like Manipur and Nagaland but they are confined to their training duties but as yet they are not deployed but if the situation goes out of control the para commandos or the special forces will definitely be deployed but they have not yet been deployed so this is the situation extremely volatile situation in Moray Reshma yes sir uh, as you as the update comes in like uh, the, there has been no respite for any settlement for peace in this Manipur with the back-to-back -back, uh, forces, the armed forces being attacked by the armed miscreants. Yes, uh, Reshma, uh, you know, we have to understand that Moray is a trading hub. There, are, uh, there is a huge transaction, there is a huge uh, trade that takes place through Moray, both legal trade as well as illegal trade. Therefore, it is what is what we are witnessing for the last several weeks is actually a turf war or a battle for territorial supremacy. Uh, whereas the government may like to take control of more the cookies uh, who are dominant at this point in time because all the meteors that fled more the cookies are in no mood to let go of the control over uh, a more. So it could be a battle for ter battle for territorial supremacy or a turf war. But we are also getting to know from sources in Imphala telling us, which we cannot confirm, that there is an audio in circulation where a man could be heard speaking in Burmese. But that's an indication that that leads to the question whether people from Burma are coming and engaging the Indian troops. But top Indian security officials said that they have no information, they have no inputs of any infiltration of people from Myanmar and engaging the Indian troops. But what is also true is that the situation across the border in Myanmar is extremely volatile with the People's Defense Force routing the Myanmar army. Even yesterday, 276 uh, Myanmar army personnel had crossed over from, from Manipur into Mizoram. And they are currently in the custody of the Assam Rifles and they will be deported. So this is the situation, an extremely volatile situation in the Indo-Myanmar border and Moray being the last Indian post on the border is also having some kind of an impact of the situation across. But as far as we are concerned, this is a heavy firing. This is a battle for territorial supremacy that is going on in Moray with two Manipur police personnel uh, already killed and at least five others injured. But authorities are telling us that there are no further in no fresh induction of Manipur police into Moray. And what is additional troops are all uh, people from the central forces, particularly the BSF.